The, the mid-size segment is as much about dimensions as it is about price or power. Chevy used to bracket the Japanese leaders with two cars, one too small, Malibu, and one too big, Impala. Old Malibu was rightly savage for its tight back seat as well as its dull styling, so new Malibu stretches its pizzazz over a 111.4-inch wheelbase, more than two inches longer than the Accord the Camry, and the Nissan Altima, all of which have identical 109.3-inch wheelbases. The Malibu is a little longer overall than the rest, too, though our car's 3,307-pound test weight is a true triumph for the engineers, making the Malibu one of the lighter cars in its class. The backseat passengers benefit the most from the extra inches, with ample real estate to sit comfortably. Up front, the dash is a complicated sculpture built up from the multitude of pieces with different textures and colors, including a kind of futuristic faux wood with pin striping. The cabin isn't ugly or cheap, but it is busy, with panel part lines everywhere. The optional 8-inch center touchscreen, standard on the Premier, 7 inches get fitted to lesser models looks like an iPad slid neatly into a docking port and its large icons and many functions, including Apple CarPlay, will be familiar to anyone who has driven a late model GM car. No, you still don't get a multifunction knob to work it with, as you do in a Mazda 6, so your fingers do the walking. Or you can bark commands at it. In back, the tyranny of plain black plastic takes over, though the fancier versions give rear seat riders their own USB ports and 12 and 120 volt outlets. Other practical conveniences include trunk releases for the rear folding seats, but thanks to the sexy, hiked up style. <laughs>